Hello, my name is Jacqueline Brito. I'm a postdoc at the Mango Lab at the University of Southern California, Los Angeles. In this presentation, we discuss recommendations to enhance the rigor and reproducibility in the biomedical research field. You can access our full paper using this link below. In the last years, the research community has been discussing about the existence of a reproducibility crisis. If we look at the web lab environment, even with all information necessary to reproduce an experiment, there is no guarantee of obtaining the same results. Several factors can affect these results, such as the human factor. When we look at the real scenario, it's worse. Many researchers do not share information to reproduce their results. Therefore, there is a challenge of developing procedures to ensure reproducibility. In the computational biomedical field, we have a unique opportunity to guarantee reproducibility. Here, the research cycle steps, starting from accessing omics data to generating analysis results, can be fully automated. For this cycle to really work, we need to follow certain practices to enable and facilitate reproducibility. In our paper, we discuss eight recommendations to enhance reproducibility of biomedical research. In this presentation, I highlight and discuss recommendations related to open data and software. First, Having access to the data is essential for auditing published results and performing secondary analysis. Not only sharing the data, but also sharing the metadata is essential to increase data reuse. However, metadata is usually not well formatted and incomplete due to the lack of enforcement and agreements on standards. Data should also be discoverable via search tools or centralized repositories. If not shared properly, data available on random pages may never be discovered. However, published studies concluded that many researchers do not share their data. The reason for not sharing is not clear, and the scale of the problem is unknown. Some promise to share their data upon request, but this model is not sustainable. By properly sharing data and metadata, we enable not only the secondary analysis, but also make research accessible to labs with limited resources. Having access to software is also crucial to reproduce published results. Ideally, shared software must be open source, well documented and easy to install. Shared software also needs to be maintained via centralized repositories to guarantee its archival stability. Providing the source of code from analysis guarantees the use of the same procedures. Additionally, the use of interactive notebooks to share data analysis provides an interface that makes code and visualization, which allows the easy adjustment of parameters. A recent study concluded that the use of platforms such as GitHub and SourceForge for sharing published software provide archival stability, and that the adoption of such platforms has been growing over the years. The same study says 50% of tools are hard or impossible to install, and many fail to pass the automatic installation process, requiring human intervention, which usually takes long time. On the other hand, well-documented tools are easier to install, and the use of package managers facilitates the process. If we look at the number of citations, installable tools are more cited and more likely to be used. The challenge for the future is how can reproducibility be ensured? The fact is that reproducibility is variably enforced resulting in published software which source code is unavailable and lacks proper documentation. But who is responsible to guarantee reproducibility? And how can we measure reproducibility? Also, is it sustainable to rely on commercial sharing solutions? I would like to thank the co-authors of this study and thank you for listening to my presentation.